um, just remain seated. Okay. We will start our short prayer service. So with that, we will uh, first acknowledge that God is among us. He is present. So let us compose ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our prayer service this morning, our primary intention is for our celebrant, Lola Ma, or Corazon Beliesa Beliendes. I will start with the reading of the Gospel of the day. The reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus and his disciples, including James and John, left the synagogue and went straight to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a fever, and as soon as Jesus arrived, he was told about her. He went to her, took her by the hand, and helped her. The fever left her, and she began to wake on them. After the sun had set, had set, and evening had come, people brought to Jesus all the sick, and those who had demons. All the people of the town gathered in front of the house. Jesus healed many who were sick, and all the good kinds of diseases, and drove out many demons. He would not let the demons say anything because they knew who he was. Very early the next morning, long before daylight, Jesus got up and left the house. He went out to town to a lonely place where he prayed. But Simon and his companions went out searching for him. And when he found him, they said, Everything is looking for you, or everyone is looking for you. But Jesus answered, We must go on to the other villages around here. I have to preach in them also, because that is why I came. So he traveled all over Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and driving out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. I would like to I would like to share my uh, short description of the reading this morning. Though I have prepared the leader on the reading, I have tried to uh, connect the message of the reading of the gospel of today to the occasion of the day. There are three things that are in the day that we can connect to the occasion of the day. First is about a woman. An elderly woman, we can consider probably related to the celebrant this morning. And the other is about healing. The occasion is something to do with healing as well. And the third message is on the idea of praying, meaning we offer everything to God. Anything that we do here on earth doesn't mean anything unless it has something to do with the building of the kingdom. Even how successful we are, if we don't relate our success to God, or we don't acknowledge the source, and that is God, what we do is nothing. Now going back to the first one, this is on the healing of the woman. I suppose I can say that uh, the 
Sandra, who is celebrating her 80th birthday, doesn't does need the idea or the idea of healing. What we can say is that we celebrate with her the gift of life. Or probably the gift is not for her alone, but it's the gift to her children. Her life was a gift to her children. Her life is a gift to all of us who are here. Anybody who has been raised with the life of Morazor. So we thank God for her life because without her probably the people who have been somebody in the world in terms of helping other people, it may be small or big. Without her, those things could not have happen. The second message is on the idea of healing. Healing doesn't only imply healing of the body. The message today tells us about the message of the gospel today tells about healing of our life. And I suppose we can relate that to our society today. Our society in the Philippines needs a lot of healing. Unless we are able to remove the demons out of our society, I'm not talking about people, okay? But the influence of evil in our society, because evil is not simply connected with people, but it is the reality that is happening around us. Because basically, human beings, all of us, whether, yes, because all of us are sinners, but we know that all of us are good. Only when we are able to recognize the goodness in, in us, that only then we can ask for forgiveness or healing because we know that the good that we have in us is innate and be restored. Okay? So, Dr. Milendez is in the book, uh, you say, in, in uh, his profession, in, his, uh, in the medical profession. So, we thank God for his uh, contribution to the, uh, to the society. But more so, probably, we thank him for creating a foundation which eventually will not only help him, but it will help other people. Okay, if that is what we want to celebrate today, the goodness. And we can, we can spend that by saying that we should do the same in our lives. Whether we do a work in the medical profession, in terms of being lawyers, engineers, teachers, religious, like us, we do it the best we can in order to be part of the building of the kingdom. This is the third point. So all what we are going to do or what we are doing after we should be connected to the building of the kingdom. So if only in the Philippines people will do things for the building of the kingdom, God's kingdom, then healing will happen in our society. The problem I think is many times what we do are for ourselves alone. So that's why there are so many fights. Marami Tiga, Marami uh, people who would like to, to be above the others. There are always jacking for position so instead of helping our society to, to progress, uh, using the society to, to progress personally. Okay, so once again, I would like to join you for the message of the gospel today, that let our life be a life of healing just like our celebrant this morning. A life of healing for our society, a life of healing 